Okay, so if we uh, we're in texture plane today, so I'm just making a plane. Um, I'm moving it across just to give you the the general view, and I'm gonna just do 50 by 50 so you guys can see what we're what's going on. So it should look something like that. All right, now um, what we're gonna do is we've got this this plane here. We're gonna start creating a material. Now I like the uh, old school material method, so. Here's what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the original material to a uh, blend and I'm going to say keep the old map and now just so you guys can see what's going on here um, I'm going to show you guys this is the the standard material as a blend um, we're going to call it terrain as you can see I'm typing it in there and then our original material is the first one we're going to use is a um, regular bitmap and I've got my base material here so we're going to just call this a um, ground and then we're going to move to the second material and instead of standard we're going to change that to a blend and that's going to be okay so that's going to give us two more materials um, this one is going to be the standard. Um, we're going to change this one to a bitmap and we're going to call this one like so and just so on and so forth. Move to the next material and change that one to a blend. Say OK. And then our final two materials, we're just going to simply put bitmap and we're going to choose one grass and we're going to go up to the next bitmap and we're going to, or next material, and we're going to choose bitmap again and I'm going to choose the other grass. Okay, so there's all my materials in there and of course you want to go in and label them, but just to keep the video shorter, I'm going to skip that fact. And then the next thing you want to do is go up to your original blend and for mask you want to click and scroll all the way to the bottom to vertex color and you're going to add that in there and you're going to change your ch map channel to four um, one through three is already taken so we're not going to worry about that and then move down to your next blend so right here move this blend we're going to choose this we're going to choose Again, vertex color and five, and we're going to go into the next blend and choose vertex color and choose six. All right, and if you want, we can name these right here. So say okay, and then drag this material to this. So there we go. All right. Now uh, we've got our plane here. The first thing we're going to do for our plane is we're going to go into um, and add a vertex paint modifier in there and actually just add three of them right off the bat. All right. Now, uh, the first color should be a, first one should be put to a map color. Um, we're going to do five. No, no, I'm sorry, six. And we're going to go into the next one, say hold and yes. And we're going to do map color. And we're going to do five. And hold and yes. And do map color. And we're going to do four. Okay, so I'm going to close my window here. Now, um, pretty much painting in black. So we're just going to paint our standard colors in black like so. And that will paint your material. And so when you render it, you'll get the next color. Okay. And so it's just a matter of going in and painting your color. Then you move up the stack, say hold and yes, paint your color, 
and paint your next set of colors on there. Okay, and you can manipulate the brushes. Here's your brush options. You can change your strength so you can have a partial. And this is very similar to a um, very similar to the way a game engine would paint with layers. And then we just move up to the next one and hit paint. And we're going to paint this like so. And there's our three or four textures on there. Now you can blend as much as you want and you should have no problem with anything. Um, it's very simple to do and it works exactly like a game engine would and you can do it right in Max. Alright, I hope that helps.